We are staying on top of this developing story. Police say an Alabama man went on a violent crime spree in Metro Atlanta, including a terrifying home invasion where he tied up the owners and kidnapped them. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live in Coweta County. Ty, you've been working to figure out what exactly happened here. And Wendy, it's a lot. Thank goodness police arrested this suspect because what he's accused of doing on this street is terrifying. And it's not just here. He's also accused of shooting someone in Fulton County. And when police in Alabama took him into custody, they say he just kidnapped two girls. It's very disturbing and it kind of makes me uncomfortable. This woman has been temporarily living on Waterworks Road in Coweta County, working for the folks who own this land. We don't stay here permanently, but we spend a lot of time out here on this land um, working and doing certain things and sometimes overnight. She's on the street where police say this man, 35 year old Michael Butler, kidnapped a couple and forced them into their own car. We found this yellow tape near the scene. Coweta deputies say the suspect made the woman tie the man up and then force them into the car. But the woman pointed out the car had no gas. Well, the suspect pulled into a gas station. That's when the woman jumped out, ran, and called 911. Investigators say Butler jumped into the driver's seat with the man still tied up in the passenger seat and brought him back to the couple's home. Deputies say Butler tried to shoot the man tied up still at least three times, but the gun jammed. Butler left and headed back down to Alabama. That's where police in Prattville arrested Butler. They say he kidnapped two young Alabama girls. Now he's facing several charges down in Alabama, and he's facing several charges in Coweta County. Crazy yeah, people. it just puts it into perspective, right? You never think that something like that can happen so close to where you are. And to hear that story so graphically and know that that happened literally just <laughs> less than a mile away, that is, that is very disturbing. We are working to find out what police say the suspect did in Fulton County, but what we had heard earlier, he's accused of shooting someone there. We'll stay on this. We're live in Coweta County. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News. There is still so much to figure out there, Ty, but it sounds like you did plenty. Thank you for that report.